Quenyong. Ah, eh, 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 Okay. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video. Are you subscribed? Before you even start, are you subscribed? If you're not, please do subscribe. We'll wait. We will wait for you to subscribe. Welcome to the channel. My name is Gateho from Just Gateho, as you can see. Um, so, as you can see in the title down below, we're going to talk about something really, really interesting. Okay? Without getting into any detail, you can see from the title down below that the video is going to be talking about dating in my 30s. Now, I went through a breakup about maybe three months ago, and it's been really, really tough and tricky. In case you don't know, I am actually in my 30s. If I look like I'm in my 20s, then okay. <laughs> okay, I mean, it's okay, it's okay. I don't mind, I don't mind looking like I'm in my 20s. <laughs> um, anyway, so I went through a breakup uh, a couple of months ago, and I'd been with this person for a really, really long time, and of course, after a breakup, you take some time out, you take some time out to chill, you know, refocus, recollect, regroup, figure out, you know, deal with the hurt, um, deal with the, with the pain that comes from a breakup, especially if you've been with that person for so long. And for me, that's exactly what I did. Um, it was a rather tumultuous one, so I needed to take the time out. But recently, your girl... <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually looking at Utandi, Utandi Kun, Utandi, Utandi. Um, but recently your girl has been on the dating scene and let me tell you, honey, yeah, what are this, this video needed a drink, but because it's Monday and I don't drink on Mondays, I'm not going to drink. But recently your girl has been back on the dating scene and I kind of thought, I raised this in my last vlog where I talked about potentially um, doing a dating series. I thought that I'm going to do this video where we talk about what is the difference with regards to dating in your 30s as opposed to dating in your 20s. What I've learned, um, uh, you know, the rules, the regulations, the what comes with dating in your 30s. And I'm going to give you some candid, definitely candid, uh, words of wisdom and advice and all of that. If you're in your 20s and you're still watching this video, have fun, okay? If you're in your 20s and you're still watching this video, have fun because the automatic assumption is that when you get into your 30s, the dating pool vastly, 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 the dating pool, the people that are available to date, they shrink like this when it gets to your 30s. And this is true. There's an element of this which is very, very true because the people you surround yourself with, the people that I surround myself with uh, in terms of my friends are people who are either married or are in long-term serious relationships that are looking towards marriage, right? So there's not many people that you know that could potentially be single like you and potentially might, might want to hook you up, you know, friends hook up friends and all of that kind of stuff. But... That is why there's dating online, there's social media, there is a, what you call these things, dating websites, dating sites like Botinda, which I don't like personally for me, but um, there's Tinders, there's Hinge, there's whatever other dating sites that they are out there. So basically because I'm typically somebody who's busy a lot of the time it's really hard for me to go out and organically meet people so I needed to jump into this online dating and I did and I used one platform uh, to start going on these dates and what have you and <laughs> wow it, it, it was a wow but it was really interesting and it was really fun I'm not gonna really get into uh, the dates in and of themselves, uh, the dates that I went on, because of course these are 
also personal private people individuals and all of that so i'm not going to talk about that particularly but i am going to talk about um what the difference is and what i walked into in terms of the dating field knowing about myself and knowing about what i want and knowing you know just generally about who i am that is very different to me dating in my 20s so we're gonna get into it i'm gonna share those points and we're gonna get into it let's get into the first point of what i learned and what i would recommend if you are gonna go and you're gonna date in your 30s let's do it the first thing i definitely would recommend when dating in your 30s and you're watching this is know who the f you are and when i say know who the f you are i'm, I'm saying it really from a very encouraging place know who you are because when you know who you are you know what you want and you know what you won't stand for and you know what will be a thing and what will not be a thing and what could work and what might not work i'm, I'm wearing a rather baggy top so just in case don't 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 think otherwise um but know who you are and know what you're about and know what will work for you and what won't work for you because the worst thing is to get into your 30s not knowing what you like what you don't like what you tolerate what you don't tolerate what you're looking out for what your preferences are what you are not gonna stand blah 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 i feel like because i'm in my 30s and i've now transitioned to dating from a relationship i know more about myself that i would know what i want and what i don't want and uh what will work for me so that gives a really great foundation point a really great starting point to narrowing down what you will stand and what you won't and it narrows down the people that you are potentially going to go on these dates with so very very important to know who you are and for me that made picking the people that i went on dates with um very very easy because i knew that ah uh, not for me uh yeah maybe i could consider this or uh blah 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 and again you can be superficial in your choices if you want a tall guy if you want a guy with a great smile if you want a guy who's got a great dress sense sure but for me i put down a list of the superficial things that i look for because we are all superficial when it comes to dating to some degree let's be honest uh, but I also put down the very, very important fundamental things that I look for when I am dating. Um, things that I'm not willing to negotiate on. Uh, things that are just standard and preference for me. Outside of looks and dress code and this and this and this, right? So that's the one thing. Know who you are because when you know who you are. Sorry, I wrote down the notes on my phone. When you know who you are, you know what you want. And it makes that much easier. Make sure you are... I, I had to make sure that I am well recovered. I've healed from my previous relationship. And I feel like when I was in my 20s, I would really easily, quickly want to jump into another relationship and just forget about this one person who's hurt me and whatever. That, you know, they say, they say you just sometimes got to get under somebody, you know what I'm saying, to get over somebody else. I did that in my 20s. I didn't do it now because I felt like, now that i'm in my 30s and i'm single and i'm dating i need to heal from the pain that was caused in the previous relationship but also healing came with uh recollection and healing came with regrouping and learning things about myself that i needed to work on and to work on those things means taking time out so i feel like again dating in your 30s you uh you you come at it from a point where you have healed internally you have done the work internally with yourself to say that you know what i know i was probably bad with this and this i i wasn't innocent i wasn't an innocent party in all of this i had my flaws i had my character flaws and all of that and i work on that for me of which a lot of them i'm still currently working on so that is good doesn't necessarily mean because you're still working on them you shouldn't start dating you can but be aware awareness and cognizance of what is going on in your life internally what caused the breakup 
healing from that, but also healing from the role that you played in the breakup is also very, very important. So I feel like healing your wounds is very, very important when it comes to uh, dating in your 30s because you want to reach a point where you're dating, but you are um, a better person when you go dating. You're, uh, you're a more well-rounded person. Uh, version of yourself. You're a healed and recovered version of yourself as opposed to jumping from one intense relationship to another intense long-term relationship when you are not ready. So healing your wounds, nothing is wrong with that. Taking time out, discovering yourself, going on a self journey, nothing is wrong with that. And I highly believe that because I'm in my 30s now, I took that time out for myself, something I wouldn't have done in my 20s. I didn't do in my 20s. The third part is to be able to date in your 30s, you need to let go of timelines. You need to not think about, yo, Yazi, I'm in my 30s, I'm not married, I don't have a child, I don't have a whatever, because these are debilitating factors when it comes to you dating, right? Because if you're immediately thinking about yo Kalmanje, i'm in my 30s you're pressuring yourself you're thinking i need to get into a relationship now so that at least within the next year or two i can have a kid and then there's a body clock and then there's the husband and then there's a whatever i feel like in your 30s what i realized with me is i had to cut out timelines for me this has always been a thing for me but to some other people it isn't. Some people want to be married by the time they get to 30, want to have a child by the time they're 33, want to do 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 do. For me, it's never been a thing. And I feel like if you've watched my channel and if, you, if you've watched my uh, marriage video and if you've watched a lot of my content, you will know that I'm quite comfortable with myself, that I'm not phased by the fact that I have a child at this point or don't, or I'm married or I'm not. I'm not phased by that. But I feel like if you want to date authentically and truly and honestly and without any pressures, social pressures like marriage and kids, you, you need to let go of timelines. You need to let go of, I need to achieve this by a certain time because it won't make your dating experience enjoyable. It's not going to make you go out on a date, dress up, be nice, be what. You're going to be going out on a date trying to find a husband. And that's not the point of going out on a date. That isn't the point of going out on a date. On a date, you just want to get to know someone. You, you want to go for a free meal. Huh? Huh? When we are women, we like to go for free meals. Just go eat and have a conversation with somebody over a glass of wine. You know? So you're not, it's going to really, really make you struggle with the dating experience if you are rigid with your timelines and what you you um want to achieve by a certain time so i learned and i figured that out in now in my 30s that you know what i don't care i'm just gonna go and i'm gonna date and i'm gonna have a good time and i'm gonna live it up and that's that on that that's on mary had a little lad what do you even mean being very clear about what you want and i feel like in my 30s I have got this on lock. I know exactly what it is that I want and I am not afraid to talk about it, even on a date, okay? I'm not afraid to talk about it. People can say that, hi, when you're on a date, don't be talking about marriage and whatever. You're gonna scare people away. Eh, hey, no, sweetheart. If you want to get married, get, tell this person that the end goal for you is to get married. Be honest. Be clear about your intentions. If you want to have a child, then make it clear in the day to know I'm actually, I'm looking to have a child in the next couple of years. What's your opinion on children? Talk about it. If they've got kids, talk about that. And you don't mind being with somebody with a kid or kids, talk about that too. Make it very clear that, listen, I don't mind the fact that you have kids and whatever, okay? But I ain't trying to deal with baby mama drama. Make it clear. What is the status of your relationship with the mother of your child slash kids? What is the status? Because I don't want to now be coming into a situation where you got some crazy ass baby mama who can't let go. I get you need to make your intentions really, really clear. You need to talk about like, this is not what, this is what I want. 
this is what I'm looking to build. This is not what I will tolerate. This make your intentions clear. Date intentionally. Because when you date intentionally, you know exactly what you want. You don't have time to be fondling, playing around, what, 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 what. No, you're dating, you're enjoying that. But you don't have time to be just uh, dealing with people who don't know what they want, whatever. When you know what you want and you make your intentions clear and you talk about what you want and what you don't want, it's going to be very easy for you to pick up from the next person whether they can be for it whether they're not going to be for it, if somebody starts to hesitate and, you know, whatever, you can see that mm -mm -mm, Ngati Lona is not quite sure about what they want and what they... Keep it moving. Keep it moving. Don't worry about it. You understand? Move on to the next person. But be very, very clear about what it is that you want. And I feel like being in my 30s has made that a thing for me. That's that's something that just happens. It happens now. It happens now. Games. Cut the games. And I feel like in my 30s, that's exactly what I have picked up as I started dating. I don't have time for games. I'm trying to make money. I'm trying to make money. Okay, and I'm trying to find a stable relationship potentially at the end of the day. And hear me, did you hear what I said? A stable relationship. I didn't talk about marriage. I didn't talk about a kid. Because for me, that's not what I'm looking for. If it comes, wonderful. But I'm looking for a stable and a key, key, key point, key word, stable. I don't have time for games anymore. I don't have time for people who don't know what they want. I don't have time for people who are unsure about their lives and the direction that they are taking. I am making money. And are you going to now come into my space, into my personal and private space, and are we going to build on one another and build for one another? Or are you just going to come here and give me drama? Because if you are going to give me drama, I, I can Hack. For a start, go. I don't have time for it. You give up on the games. You just don't have time. You're dating in your thirties, okay? And there's nothing wrong with it. Trust you, me. It's actually even more rewarding when you date in your thirties, okay? Because like, it's a different set. It's a different set of rules. It's a different playing field. It's a different everything. It's more enjoyable to be dating in your thirties for me personally. But I also feel like it's more enjoyable because of my character and who I am. So you just know that I'm not about the games, and you make that very clear. And if somebody is not about the games, they will probably make it very clear to you too. And if you can see that somebody's just saying, I am not about games, even me, even me, I'm not about games, but then they play games. Get out of there. Get out of here. You know what I'm saying? Get if there's something that I have learned, it is that I talk about money freely. I don't have time. I'm not telling you, you know, I'm not. But I'm telling you that money, money, money plays a very fundamental part of making any relationship work. Do not be sold on, I will survive on love. Ow, ow. Does, is love going to buy you bread? Mm? Is love going to pay for your electricity? Mm? Is love going to pay for your bills? You need to... <laughs> Tandy's laughing there. She's having a good time. Is love going to pay for your bills? But I'm saying, even in a relationship, to make it work, money is a conversation you're going to have to have. And I realized that in my, in my 30s, I made it very clear that, listen, I ain't trying to have problems with money in, my, in relationship in my 30s. I'm not. I hope if you want to ask him, ask him, what do you own? What do you uh, owe? What do you own? What do you owe? What do you whatever? Do you do you have investment properties? Do you have pro have you invested money somewhere? Have, what is your financial standing? What is your money personality? Cause me, I'm free. Whoever's going to ask me that, or what is your money personality? Me, I'm, I'm I'm free. But the thing is, you need to make it very intentional when you go dating in your thirties and talking about money. And talking about money personalities is very important in your 30s. And I feel like I learned that. In the dates that I've went on, 
a couple, a couple, okay? I spoke about money. With the people that I met on nights out, I spoke about money. Because that's the quickest way to see somebody cringe and then you realize, oh, this might be a problem. But if somebody can respond to you almost instantly about money and talk freely, openly about money, that's a good sign too. So make sure you can talk about your money personalities. Um, and the last point that I'm going to mention is stop dating people for their potential. Okay? Hear me. Stop dating people for their potential. Date what you want. Date what works for you. Date your ultimate end goal for you. Don't date people for their potential. You wanna that? That's one thing that I can recommend to you. The problem is, you will say to yourself, um, I know he's gonna be great. He's got so much ambition. He's got so much whatever. I know he's gonna be a great partner. And you're gonna let things slide. That's the problem. You're gonna let things slide. Ah, oh, but he's a nice guy, shame, weighty, and whatever. You're gonna let things slide. If you want a rich man, date a rich man. Date a rich man. Date rich men. If you, one of the things you're looking for is wealth, date wealthy men. If one of the things you're looking for is kindness, date kind men. And you'll be able to see it when you're sitting there and talking to somebody. You will pick up on acts of kindness. You'll see them. You know, like, hey, how are you? Pull out your chair, blah, blah, blah. Link the chivalry to the kindness, especially when you're dating, right? But dating someone for their potential and saying, ah, but he'll be better, he'll do better, he'll be okay, he'll be whatever, is that is the dream. Don't sell yourself dreams. And I did this. This is what I learned in my 30s. And I did it in my 20s, and I'm vowing to myself I'm never going to do it in my 30s again. Don't date potential. Don't date potential. Date what you want. Date what you expect. Date what your preferences are. Look for that. And if they don't possess it, then get out of there. That's all it is. That's all it is. Um, dating in my 30s, that's the last point I'm going to mention, but dating in my 30s has helped me realize that what I want is what I want. I'm not looking to make any more exceptions for anyone. I'm not looking to make any more blah, blah, blah for anyone. You can make the little things here and there, those things that you can overlook. But the big things, the big points that you prioritize when it comes to finding a partner, make it a point that you are mentioning these things in your, or, or you're keeping a mental note of these things while you're dating. That's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. So I wanted to talk about that. I really didn't want to do a dating series. I don't know. I might, but right now it doesn't look like I will. Doesn't look like I will right now. Um, but I really did want to talk about how dating in the 30s is different to dating in the 20s. And these are the things that I've experienced or seen within myself as I've gone out on dates and things like that. I've realized that, you know what? This is what I look for now. This is what I look for now. If I met someone and I wasn't in my 30s or I wasn't in whatever and we had been dating for five years and, and six years and whatever and when I met him, I felt like he had potential and whatever, whatever, then that's fine. Then you can come along with him, groom, whatever. But in your 30s, if you're going to start dating again in your 30s, don't do it. Don't do it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have and you'd like to see more videos on dating, relationships, whatever, drop your comments down below. Let me see. Let me read through them. And uh, I'm going to go. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Subscribe, notify, click the bell, join the family. We're trying to get to 20,000 subscribers before my birthday, which is in June because I want to do a massive 20K giveaway. Uh, yeah, until then, I'm going to go. I'll see you in the next uh, video.